Hi, Tony Kishawi here. I'm uh, going live. Here's my, my paperwork. Hi, so it's Friday and it's very late Friday. There we are, we're going live. So uh, what I wanted to do is tell you what's happening tomorrow. So everything seems to be happening on the 30th. That's right, the 30th of March. So uh, tomorrow, I think these, these are the items I'm going to cover today. So if you're interested, stay tuned. We're doing the Arts and Culture Action Planning Sessions at the Gympie uh, Civic Center in the Fossickers Room at 10 till 12. Then there's the Long Johns and Emma Bow out at the Veteran Hall. Uh, the Veteran Hall is actually having an all-day event as well there. The Mother's Ruin Cabaret about gin. That's right, looks like it's a lot of fun. That'll probably be in the, the theatre. I'm not too sure exactly, but I think it'll be in the Heritage Theatre. Putting on the glitz at the pavilion. That's right, palliative care are putting on that event. It's going well. And uh, I'm going to cover the business starter workshops, entrepreneurship facilitators. That's a mouthful. Let's go and have a look at the desktop. So where do I get to my desktop? There we are. So hopefully we got some sound this time. I had some problems previously. So I always like to start at my What's On in Gimpy Facebook page. So you can see here the header says, check in in the month of March. So what this is about is that people have been checking in in businesses around Gimpy. And what that does is if you do a check in, it's like a recommendation. It goes out to all your friends saying that you approve of this restaurant or the coffee shop or any business that you're in and they appreciate it. And so what's happening is that we're giving out, or should I say the businesses are giving out rewards if you do a check-in. So we might go over that uh, when we get to the What's On website. There's all the events. There, sorry, that's Brendan and I doing a video. So there is the first one, the Business Starter Workshop. Now this is a free event and it says, find out how to start your business on the right path, avoid common mistakes. This workshop will provide introductory information about the entrepreneurship facilitator services and basic information. So go along and have a look at that. Uh, register, uh, I think they were saying that the registration's closed, but I'm sure if you give them a ring, they'll let you in. There's some photos and there we are, putting on the glitz. 10 tickets left, they said. Now, that, was, that was actually a day ago, so hopefully they still got a couple of tickets left. There's Charmaine Wilson, and we've got CC with the Big Rosella Festival. This has been very successful. I think it might be coming up to their fifth festival. Going strong. Next, we've got the Rob Morrison Cabinet Maker Luncheon. So this is the, um, uh, the website, the What's On there's the Fairy Festival. So if you go to the what's on in gimpy.com.au website, you'll get to see all of these featured events on the slideshow. So there we are. That's, that's the, uh, now this is what I wanted to show you. I'm getting a bit tongue tied here. I've got something coming through on the phone. Hopefully people are giving me a thumbs up. Let me just go and see, so I can keep a, an eye out on what's on the phone. Oh, there it is. Turn the sound down. Okay, so give us a thumbs up, say hello, write a comment. I'll be able to see them. So what's going on right in front of your eyes right now is a list of all the businesses that are participating in the check-in March campaign. So you can see there, there's Mama D's Kitchen. They give 10% discount off uh, all any purchases in the store. And um, here, here there's their little promo. Happy hour. So after school, if you're picking up the kids from three to four, 10% discount as well. I don't think that means you get 20% discount, but all you gotta do is scan their little code. This little flyer is on their desk and uh, you get 10% off donuts, anything you like in the store. And if you do a check-in any time of the day, you can get a 10% discount. Just show that at the register, you say, look, I just checked in, there's a picture of me smiling or something like that, and they'll give you 10% discount. So what else is going past? Victory Squash Court and All in the Cup. You go down there, they'll give you 10% discount off any purchases whilst you're in the store if you do a check-in. Tivoli Retreat. Now they're gonna collect people and put them in a drawer and pull out a weekend or a retreat for uh, the person that checked had checked in and uh, you'll go in the drawer. There's Camelot Diaries, <laughs> Diaries, Dairies, and uh, they're giving away a little chocolate if you uh, check in. They're open this weekend and uh, Saturday, Sunday, this weekend. 
Now we've got My Cakes. My Cakes there down in Mary Street, and they are giving a what they call a coffee upgrade. So if you order a, uh, a medium size, you get the large. If you get the mini one, you'll get a medium size. So, so it's a coffee upgrade. And they, I'll give you a little tip. They want you to take photos of their cakes because you can just walk into their store, buy a cake, have happy birthday on it, no pre-ordering, you can just walk out with the cake. It's perfect for people like me who forget to get the birthday cake until the absolute last minute. Okay, so what else we got? So these are all the features. You can go along and have a look at all of the uh, events that have been uploaded. Let's go and have a look. I mentioned Long John's and Ember Bow, the Small Halls Festival, and that's going to be this Saturday. And I did write the times down. Here it is. The Long John, 6.30 p.m. And the uh, Veterans Hall Committee is actually having an all-day event. They're going to have sausage sizzle. They're going to be talking about neighbors because they're celebrating, uh, I don't know whether it's Neighbor Day or Neighbor Week, where you get to know your neighbors. So you go, and then they'll finish the day with the uh, concert by the Long Johns and Emma Bow, Mother's Ruin. Yes, now this is the cabaret I was talking about. That's going to be at the Heritage Theatre. It's going to look like a lot of fun, a lot of roll and rollicking. And um, yeah, check out that. You can actually type in, uh, do a search for them and bring them up on YouTube and you'll see it's not bad singing, even if they are drunk on gin. Putting on the glitz. So uh, they're setting up today, ready for tomorrow, down at the pavilion. Now, this is the one I wanted to mention. Now, this is not uh, March. We're looking at the 6th of April here. But I always like to announce uh, brand new uh, Gimpy box office ticketing. So uh, the, you can buy your tickets here. This is the luncheon. It goes at the Apex restaurant. It's going to be, what is it there? 6th of April, 12 noon. And you get to see the races, $45 a ticket. And here, you know, you can go here. This is a link to the ticketing system. So just choose how many tickets you want and click uh, the, uh, the buy button. And you can go and get your tickets online. Here is the Business Starter Workshop Entrepreneurship Facilitators. It's a good job I did a warm up of my lips. <laughs> so you can go along to there, that's free, but please let them know you're coming. Finally, the last thing we're doing for my live video today is the Gimpy Box Office there, Charmaine Wilson. So here are the events that I'm selling tickets for currently. So we've got the, uh, there they are, the Rob Morrison cabinet maker at the Turf Club. Here we have a fundraiser that's going to be at the RSL. There's a sub-branch that's raising some money. And so they're offering this disco 70s, 80s and 90s and over 30s, <laughs> lots of T's. So you can get your tickets for that one. <coughs> and Charmaine Wilson. Now Charmaine's been a regular. She comes through Gimpy every year and I'm always quite happy to sell her tickets. Uh, people seem to get a lot of value out of this and what I'd like to do is leave this video, at the end of this video, with a, uh, a YouTube video that, uh, that Charmaine made. Um, I'm gonna try and make a link. You can click on this and have a look at the Gimpy box office. Here it is. So I'd like to show you this because uh, it seems that people get a lot of value, whether you believe in it or not. You know, she was the, the winner of the competition they had on TV, so there must be something in it if she was able to win above all the others doing this spiritual reading. Okay, so I hopefully enjoy. If you're not going to stick around, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to share. Ciao, ciao. And um, after your father passed away, you guys must have got a property, if I'm correct. And I'm thinking that he knows about this property. And he's telling me it's been a bit of a pain in the butt to you in a lot of ways, hasn't it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> because he's been watching. It's like, you would think that they're gone, but they're saying, oh, yeah, that's going to be a pain in the ass. If she, if she wants to build a house there, she's going to have to remove those rocks just to put the septic system in. You know, all that type of stuff. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Okay, good. Now, she's also telling me, too, that your kids were really fussy with your food. This is your nan. Because she would make all the awful type stuff. Yeah. Oh, like, we're talking steak and kidney and all that crappy food that kids just don't want to eat. And I love it now. Oh, you love it now, but you didn't love it then.
and for and some, some reason, reason they're folding, folding clothes, clothes, folding clothes, yeah. fold, that's, that's all you did, you wasn't did, it? Wasn't it? Yep. Folding, folding clothes, clothes. And, and, and I feel I like your nan was, was just a stickler for tidiness, and um, what she's what actually she's showing, showing me is, did she boil the sheets, like, or just really washed them frantically with an inch of their life every week? She had one of those, like, your old... The ringers. the ringers, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I've got gotcha. you, yeah. gotcha. yeah. with really hot water in them. Yeah, yeah. I've got gotcha. you, I've got you. Now it, that's what looks like a boiler to me, but that's yeah. what they are, yeah. yeah. Did somebody have a breast cancer scare? Or a lump scare? It's not him. Oh, through the family, I think, yeah, there has. Hold on, I might be getting this wrong. Any, jeez, oh, I hate this. Any other type of boob surgery? Uh, um. Reductions. <laughs> it's funny, I was thinking reduction rather than enlargement. Okay, I'll leave it there. I know you can go at go to the Gimpy Box office and click on the video link that's being played there, or you can go to YouTube and search for it there. Uh, very interesting. There's quite a few familiar faces in the audience there. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to sign off and uh, please send us a message if you like, if you don't like. Actually, no, if you don't like, I don't want to hear about you. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. Bye-bye.